thank you IPDI for giving me opportunity to present in your forum. I am presenting today a rare coronary anomaly. It is a case of four month female infant who was referred to our center for apparent cardiomegaly on chest x-ray with history of fever with recurrent respiratory tract infections like cough, wheezing since last two month duration. On examination, there was bilateral crepes with wheezing on the chest. Temperature was 100.4 degree Fahrenheit, pulse 132 beats per minute. Respirate with it is regular. There is there was no regular uh, radio radial and radio femoral delay. Respirate rate was 38 bit per 38 per minute and saturation was normal. There was no cyanosis and anemia. On examination, cardiac examination on auscultation, the, there was no cardiac murmur. Investigation wise, hemogram was normal. ECG showed sinus tachycardia with poor R wave progression. Chest X ray, cardiomegaly, CTR ratio more than 60% with increased pulmonary vascularity. ECO showed global alveolar hypokinesia with severe LV systolic dysfunction with mild MR. Color Doppler study was done. We can see here there is the diastolic flow in the pulmonary artery. And at the same time, we are amazed that we can see we can see the dilated right, right coronary artery. We can see at the basal, basal view, we can see here, dilated. We can appreciate this is the right coronary artery which seems to be dilated. So with the background of the global alveolar hypokinesia, dilated right coronary artery, and some form of MR, we had suspected that it, is, it could be a case of Alcapa. And we also searched for left coronary artery, but we are unable to find it out. And we proceed for cardiac CT angiography, which also non-conclusive due to the tachycardia. And we proceed for aortic root angiogram. We can say in this angiogram, the right coronary artery is clearly seen, but we couldn't find out the left coronary artery arise from the coronary root, aortic root, sorry. So, but we can hear, we can clearly see here, there is some draining the right coronary artery along with very poor collaterals, which is draining into the pulmonary artery. You can see here, this is the fade image. We can see here, this is the left coronary artery receiving the blood from right coronary artery with some collaterals. So with this, what is Alcapa? Alcapa is actually it is anomalous origin of the left coronary artery from the pulmonary artery. And it is very rare congenital anomaly, which comprised one in three lakhs live births. And it's about 0.25% of all congenital heart diseases. And survival to adulthood is only 10 to 15%. What are the clinical uh, uh, presentation of the Alcapa? The clinical presentation of Alcapa would be the before birth, the fetus is well, there is no any symptoms, there is patient, is, uh, patient is doing good because saturation, pulmonary arterial saturation is okay. And due to the high pulmonary artery pressure, left sided coronary artery also getting blood. So myocardium is not ischemic, but after birth, till high pulmonary artery pressure. The pulmonary artery pressure decreases as the child grows. So still, but myocardium is still getting the blood from the pulmonary artery to the LCA because there is a pulmonary pressure, is, there is high pulmonary pressure. But once the pulmonary pressure is decreased and become normalized, it depends on the collateral flow. If there is poor collateral flow from RCA to the LCA, then the outcome could be death. But if there is good collaterals, the survival up to the 10 to 15 percent of the patients may survive up to their childhood or adulthood. We can see here, this is the normal coronary artery which arises from the aortic root, RCA and LCA. But in second picture, we can see here the RCA is arised from the right coronary sinus, but LCA is arised from pulmonary artery. And there is the connections between them. So these connections lead to the left to right sons and cause myocardial ischemia and myocardial dysfunction. So what are the clues in echo? 
Once we see, if we see the regional wall motion abnormal disease or global alveolar hypokinesia in echo of the children, along with bright pulmonary muscles or scarred pulmonary muscles with some form of the MR, then we should always be suspected of alkappa. So what my take home message is, in every infants who presented with feature of DCM, MR, with MR, or feature of heart failure with some ischemic changes in ECG, we should always suspect suspected of the alkappa. Thank you.